Halloween styled. Today we are going to be making chocolate balls. Mm, what? No, we are going to be making frozen chocolate ice cream cups. Yes, you heard me right. Frozen chocolate ice cream cups. You know those viral videos going around on Facebook that are literally just a food and you cannot pull yourself away from them and you just find yourself staring at them and being like, I can make that, I can do that. Well, today we're going to try to attempt that. So come along for the ride. This could be a super fun idea for family night, for date night, and a really fun project you can do with your kiddos. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. So the video that went up right before this was actually a video talking about being healthy and living within moderation. So it's kind of ironic that we're doing chocolate cake balls today, but I did wanna show you guys some ways to cut back on calories if you do wanna indulge or if you are on a diet or a plan um, and you're just trying to be more health conscious. So one great brand is called Walden Farms. Um, they are really good about making things calorie free. Now that doesn't al always mean that it's necessarily better for you, but if you are trying to count calories and stick to a plan, this is something that that can be really helpful. And this is the caramel dip and this is absolutely zero fat grams, zero um, saturated fat, trans fat, and zero calories. So Walden Farms caramel dip. And then the ice cream that I totally forgot to get because they were out of my favorite, it's called Arctic Zero. It's cut way back on calories. I'll insert a picture of it here. This is what it looks like but it's a much more friendly option when it comes to calories. So if you are looking to do cut back on some calories, there's a great way of doing that. If you're not and you're ready to jump in and indulge and you're having a fun cheat day with me, then that's awesome. Um, you are going to be needing your favorite ice cream or gelato, anything that you wanna put in your ice cream ball. So this one is the Tahitian vanilla bean and this is the this is a gelato, and then this one is the peanut butter pretzel. This one is for my husband, he loves peanut butter. And then my absolute favorite is the Rocky Road. I love marshmallows and almonds, they're the best thing ever, especially when they're in ice cream. Or you can just do plain Jane vanilla. Next, you're going to be needing some beltable chocolate. So I just picked these up at Walmart, they are, bright hot pink and they're the bigger um they look like big kisses chocolate kisses so they're gonna melt easier for you and this is called the choco maker i believe this is bright pink and then i also got them in vanilla and then of course i also got them in the milk chocolate so then you're going to need some way of melting your chocolate you absolutely don't have to have this this little chocolate melter at walmart it was 24 dollars and super easy to clean. All you do is put your chocolate in here, it melts it up, and then you can just throw this in your dishwasher. So I thought that was really helpful. And the little purple canister is darling, and it melts your chocolate for you. Next, you're going to be needing different kinds of sprinkles. It doesn't matter. You can pick your favorite color if you're doing a color scheme, or bigger, smaller, whatever, but just get some different kinds of sprinkles. Then you're going to be needing parchment paper or wax paper. Um, some paper plates so that they're easy to just throw away and your mess is easy to clean up. And then lastly, you're going to be needing some balloons. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is melting our chocolate, then dipping half of our balloon into the chocolate, covering it in sprinkles, and then freezing them. And then we're gonna pop the balloon and the bowl is going to be formed to the balloon and we're gonna do, scoop our ice cream into the bowl, dress it up, and it is that simple. So let's get started.
truth. We have frozen our chocolate bowls and I will say the sprinkles, it's a lot easier to sprinkle them around the melted chocolate rather than to dip them. And the heavier sprinkles definitely will pull to the bottom, but I still feel like it looks pretty cute. So now all we're going to do is kind of pop our balloons, let some air out, and then just arrange them cutely on this plate, put some ice cream in them, and then serve your chocolate ice cream bowls. Voila!